Welcome back everyone to Learning Medicine. Today we're in aesthetics and we're going to solve this problem 761, okay? It says draw the shear and moment diagrams for the myth, okay? So we're going to apply the same method that I used for the last video. So basically we're not following what, uh, the method that book uses. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is that we're going to draw our free body diagram and we're going to try to simplify our beam as much as we can with our reaction forces okay so let's start by drawing the free body diagram so we will have our beaming here we will have our 20 kips going down another 20 kips going down at the other end then we will have our reaction forces that will have a roller at A, we will have A1. Then we'll have a pin at B, okay? So we'll have BY and we also will have BX. So we'll have it like this, a uh, force in here. But as you guys can see, none of the other forces are going into the X directions, meaning that this BX is going to be equal to zero. So we can totally ignore it in this case. Then we'll have the distributed load that goes from A to B, okay? It's high, it's four kips per feet, okay? So that's our distributed load. And our distances are from my end to my point A, it's 15 feet. From A to B, it's equal to 30 feet. And then from B to my other end will be equal to 15 feet, okay? So this is basically our first free body diagram. And what we can do with it is that we're going to apply some material forces, like any type of static problem, right? So we'll add uh, some material forces in the Y. We're going to assume that going up is positive. And what do we have? Well, we have negative 20 kips. Then we'll have positive AY. Then we'll have positive BY. I'm gonna leave the distributed load for the N. Then I'll have negative 20 kips. And then I'll have negative the distributed load. Well, how much is this distributed load? Well, we need to know the area, right? So we know that the height is four and the distance that is recurring is 30 feet, okay? So we'll have four times three, that'll give me 12. We add the zero, so it will be 120, okay? And all this should be equal to zero. If we solve for AY plus BY, we will end up having 120 minus, so negative 120 minus 40, that's minus 160. If we move it to the other side, it will be positive 160 kips, okay? So I said minus 40 because I got negative 20 and negative 20, that's 40, okay? Now, the next thing that I can do is the sum of trivial moments around either point A or point B. Summing the counterclockwise is positive, and I'm just going to pick B, just because, okay? So we're going to choose this point over here, my point B, for my moment. So let's just start with this 20 kips. Holding here, and this force like that will want to rotate me counterclockwise, Therefore, it's positive 20 multiplied by the distance. So the distance will be 30 plus 15, that will be equal to 45. Then I'll have AY, since it's in the opposite direction, then I'll have negative AY multiplied by the distance, which is equal to 30 feet. That one, we can clearly see it. Then we'll have our distributed load. For our distributed load, I'm going to simplify it just for this step but we're not going to simplify for our further steps. So if we simplify this, it will be a float in the middle, which will be equal to this 120 that we already calculated, okay? So we can basically say that if it's, since it's going down the same as here, so going counterclockwise positive, so we'll have positive 120, and the distance with respect to my point B should be equal to half of our distance, which is 30. So half of that, which is equal to 15, okay? Now, my force BY doesn't have um, distance respect to my point B. 
and then I'll have this 20 kilopas uh, kips kilopounds to going here so it will want to rotate me clockwise so I'll have negative 20 multiplied by the distance which is another 15 feet all this should be equal to zero okay so let's try to simplify these numbers and what we'll have is that we'll have 20 times 45 that will be equal to 900 then I'll have negative 30 ay then I'll have positive 120 times 15 that will give me 1800 and then I'll have negative 20 times 15 that will give me 300 and all this should be equal to zero let's solve for ay now what do we have well we'll have 900 so we got 900 plus 1800 minus 1300 divided by 30 okay so if we do this we'll end up having the ay is equal to 80 kips as well okay so from here we can find by so basically by how can we find by using this equation in here we'll end up finding that this is 80 kips two okay because 80 plus 80 is equal to 160 kips and what we're going to do is that we're going to take this free body diagram without simplifying without simplifying our distributed load and we're going to copy it in here we're going to replace the values for ay and by for the values that we know which are 80 and 80 keeps each one okay and by knowing this now we're going to use these values that we know and we're going to have key parts in order to draw our free body diagram and you know and what these key parts i mean is like every single time i see something interesting on this beam i will draw a line and you will see guys why so i'll draw a line in here because i see these negative 20 pounds going in there same goes at the end where i got this 20 kips at the end i have 80 kips going up in this point and i have 80 kips going up in this point okay and in between these two guys i have a distributed load so i'm going to leave it like this for now and let's just start by drawing the shear diagram okay so the shear diagram should look something like what so we're going to start in here at zero but then right away we end up with negative 20 kips so I'm going to draw from zero to negative 20 kips. So I'm going to place negative 20. Here. Then nothing happens. So I keep on running, 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 and nothing happens until here. So I'm going to keep those negative 20 all the way until that point, okay? Then after that, right away, I go up 80 kips. So I'm going to go up 80. So if we were at negative 20, we go up 80, we should have positive 60. So we're here at positive 60 okay so this is 60. now if we pay attention we have a distributed load that is starting to go down so and we know that the total of this is 120 so we slowly will go down until this point and we're going to go down 120 so if i was at positive 60 and then i go 120 down i should get up in here to negative 60 so let's do that so we're going to do this and we're going to have negative 60 in here now after i end up with my distributed load right away i have these 80 kilo pounds going up so if i'm negative 60 and i go up 80 I should end up a positive 20 okay then I keep on running 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 into this beam until I find these negative 20 kips so I'm gonna go running until I go down 20 kips now how do we know if we did this diagram correct we should always start at zero end up at zero okay so 
now that we know that this is our shear diagram and the last thing I like to do is that okay in here I got a negative um, area in here I have a positive area also in here I have a positive area and then I got a negative area in here the next thing we're going to do is our moment diagram okay so this is my moment diagram so we will start with this negative area therefore my moment should start going down remember this is from to go from cheer to go to moment the moment is the integral of this cheer so if we have a negative and we the uh, constant like in here negative 20 and we apply an integral we'll end up with a negative slope so we'll go from zero all the way to here how much is this well in order to know this we have to do we have to know how much is this area so that area i'm just gonna call it area one how much is that well we know the height is 20 so how much is the distance well the distance is given here by 15 so we got 15 and if we plug this into the calculator we should get 300 kips times fit okay so we'll end up that this over here is equal to 300 okay we can put the units later on then we'll have a positive area this area over here and how much is that well that area i'm going to call it area two will be equal to my the area of a triangle so we'll have one half my height which is 60 times my base so how much is this base so let's go up so it's exactly in the middle of that 30 feet so it should be 15 feet we'll multiply by 15 and if we plug this into our calculator we get 60 times 15 divided by 2 we get 450 okay so we got a positive area of 450 kips but remember we were already in a negative area so we have to go up into a positive so let's draw this line in here as well because we will need it to know where to stop and there is another part we already have a slope in here so this is loop is something like mx plus b right so it's just a linear slope the next slope will be um quadratic slope how do we know what type of quadratic is it like this or is it like this well it depends on how this triangle its position so in here we start having a lot of area a lot of area until we have almost little adding of area so since we have that what we would do is that we will do a lot of area that we're adding until we're almost not adding anything okay so that's how we draw this free body diagram uh, this um, moment diagram in this case what we have is that we're going to start adding little 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 or in this case subtract little 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 and then we will add a lot and then how much is this area well this area is the same so if we went up this amount of area and then we will go down this amount of area we should end up in the same place so we should end up in here now we'll remember we start little and then a lot at the end so we'll have little 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 going down and then a lot at the end okay we should end up at 300 and you may ask what is this peak pointing here well this peak point should be area 2 minus area 1 so we got 450 minus 300 that should be equal to uh, 150 here so we should end up in 150 positive now guess what in here we have the positive but the same area as here same area but in positive direction so we'll have a similar shape but going positive therefore this is how my moment diagram should look first negative then we'll have 
a lot of positive and then we'll end up with negative and remember how do we know if this is correct we'll start at zero end up at zero okay so this is all for this video guys i hope you guys like it if you guys have any questions or any comments please just put, post it down below and i'll see you guys in the next one